Breaking news at this hour as Chicago athletes may have one last chance to make the postseason despite failing to qualify due to the teacher strike. CBS 2's Chris Tai is live at the Daily Center where a judge is hearing an emergency motion to let cross country runners into this weekend's sectionals. Chris. Erica, let's walk you through this day. This morning, the IHSA denied CPS cross country runners motion that they should be allowed in the postseason. They said that the strike is over and that they should now be allowed in. The IHSA said no. And so attorneys for Joan Prep took to the courts motioning this afternoon. They're in front of a judge as we speak right down the hall saying that the strike is over. And so the reason they were kept out last week was for safety reasons. Well, the teachers are back, the coaches are back, and the safety concerns are gone. And so that is what a judge is hearing right now. If this judge decides to let these runners run from Jones Prep, it wouldn't just be Jones Prep, it would be runners around CPS, like students here at Lane Tech who are running this afternoon, hoping that they'll be able to run in sectionals early tomorrow morning. Teenagers hoping for a crack at the postseason say it creates an opportunity to be seen by college recruits and keeps potential potential scholarship dollars alive for them. They know running, but the maneuvering of all of this back and forth has been far more marathon than sprint. It's, it's been tough, you know, knowing that I kind of had that dream taken away and us as a team, we also all wanted to go to state. Um, and and if, if we were to get that back, I mean, that would be that'd be fantastic. So in the courtroom just down the hall from me, it has gotten quite contentious. The IHSA on one side, the attorney for Jones Prep cross country runners on the other. The Jones Prep attorney is saying, you know, Simeon High School got dispensation to have practice, to have coaches that aren't union members, to have that practice at school where there were security concerns, but the IHSA let them do it anyway. The attorney saying because football has such a revenue generating component to it, there's a double standard at play. The judge is hearing all of this. Again, there's a lot of cross country runners around the Chicago public schools waiting to hear how this comes back and they may be running in sectionals in just over 12 hours from now. We're going to keep our eyes on it. For now, live at the Daily Center tonight, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.